Um, I spent uh, the better part of today to solve the uh, problem you had, and I think I might have a solution. So, to show you that everything is working, here we go. First of all, uh, everything is hooked up. What I've done is uh, we have to connect to the Raspberry. For the root user, the password is radio. But here we are. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I have booted up everything. So let me just check what you can do with the command psaux grab sound modem to see if sound modem is running. And it is, you can see it from the first line. We can say, is there any, any sound modem to AX25? Yes, there is, you can see for the first line. The second line that you see is the command itself, so don't worry too much about it. And I don't know whether I have APRX started, but let's see. Yes, APRX is also started. Now, first of all, in order to show you how to adjust everything, I have to kill everything. And like starting and stopping, you do with the command etc init.d aprs stop. It stops the AX25 services and APRX. There was no case attached because in this case I have no hardware DNC connected. Now comes the important part and that is how the how the USB dongle works. And I, I when, you, when you work from your existing uh, Raspberry uh, image and you follow the instructions, the files should basically be okay, but they need a little bit of uh, 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 tweaking. To check, LS USB shows me the sound module, which is the second from the bottom. I have a C Media Electronics sound module, very cheap, but it works, we'll see. Um, having said that, I realized that the speed of the uh, of the uh, USB is actually too high, so I have changed the um, file, the boot file for the Raspberry, which you can find at the boot directory, cd boot, and there is a file called uh, commandline.txt, and at the end I have added two connections. I'll send you the new commandline.txt file, but there are two, um, what do you call it, two um, commands at the end. Here we go, but it means it's a long way to the right, but you can see it already. It's the last two ones here. The TWC underscore OTG dot speed is one, and lowest the USB operation to USB 1.1. It's slower, but it's better for the audio. And the second one also takes out the high-speed networking of the USB configuration because basically it is a USB port, USB to a network. All right. So having said that, we go back to the um, to the sound module, and I guess if you give the command a a play dot dash l then you see that the generic USB audio device is your device and nothing else. And you follow my instructions, so I guess that goes all right. Then the mixer settings. Also mixer. Here is everything. Here are my settings. I got about 71 on the PCM, which is the speaker. I got the capture about uh, 44. Um, and I have the auto gain control. I have it muted. It's not necessary, by pressing the M you can switch it on, but in my case it worked. <coughs> uh, you might you might switch it on, this is a trial and error thing. Control C gets you out of it. So that's the answer, mix settings. Now, the next step is, you have to go to my website and download a little file. And the file is located at the ham radio part, under APRX, and it's called APRS Audio Test File. And you can download it. Okay, I've done that already. So, put this one away. And I've put it in my media player, which is iTunes. 
I still have to start it up. Here it is. I downloaded it twice, and now it's running. You can see APRS LA Recordings is running. It sounds horrible, but you know that. So let me slightly turn up the volume. This is from the speaker, but in parallel, taking the headphones out, I'll feed it into the uh, Raspberry sound module, the microphone in. And there comes the adjustment. So let's first make a recording, um, which is done by, uh, let me see, I have it, if I'm not mistaken, it's still, yeah, here's the command, A record, minus VV, test W, a V will record whatever goes into the Raspberry. And important is the level setting. Now what you can see at the bottom is the level settings I use using this audio file. If I turn it down, and I turn it down now on the mixer, there's no audio coming in, and if I turn it too much, it stays on for max and it gets distorted. So it should be roughly you know, hitting just a 99% marker, but not a 100% marker. Still too much, slightly back. Good. Okay, Control C stops it. And now comes the interesting part. We can play it. We can replay this file. It's called A Play Tesla. And I hope it comes out of the comes out of the headphone because I, I it's late in the evening. I can't make a lot of noise. Well, you should have been able to hear it, but it has been rec recorded. That means in my case, I'm fine with everything. So, now to see whether it really decodes, we have to start up the AX25 again, which is the same command as I gave before. That's my home uh, eye gate, making a lot of noise. So in etc slash init slash APLS, start gives us uh, it's always nice. Yeah, there should be a slash at the beginning. You know, so this will start the services, and it does. It starts X25 services, the sound modem at SM0, sound modem 0, that's what we said. It does a little bit more, it needs a little bit of waiting time, and it starts APRX. Now, in our case, APRX was already running, so there are now two. Um, there are, there are two instances. Uh, I just want to make sure that it doesn't mistake. So, um, kill all APRX kills it. Okay. Good. Now, we have now a sound modem And running, we just check it. Yes, it's up and running. So we should now be able, using that same audio file, to see if it if it decodes something. And there is the following command built in, which is called AX list minus A minus C. It gives you a nice screen, and now we run the same audio again. Which means I have to go to my to my directory. I have to double click it. Okay, I have to make sure that it's up and running, and it is, I can hear it. So now you can see, these are American stations from more than two years ago, it would be very funny, but I'm not connected to the internet. Alright, enough. It works. So you can see that uh, that everything is decoded at uh, SM0, sound modem 0, the AX25 port. Good. Control C gets me out of this. Now, now there's only one thing to check. Uh, I have modified the aprx.conf file, and the aprx.conf file. I don't know whether I have it here for us. Not yet, but I can call it up. If we go to nano and slash etc.apx.conf 
and you follow me, then this is most important. Here you have to change it for your area, probably Australia, whatever. You can put your filter to a smaller or a bigger range, but more important is the interface, this part. X25 device is dollar mic call. Now, what you can see, and now comes the little trick, PA012. Remember this. So for the rest, uh, we can go to the bottom. Um, everything has been set, the logging has been set, the beacons. I'm beaconing only at radio, but you can, and if you need it, put, change it to both. So, and this should basically be 20 minutes. And there you are. And by the way, this here creates the symbol on APRS IS. And you can find in the manual, manual from APRX what kind of symbol creates what kind. So the fact that you are only showing us as a, as a passive, um, nothing to do, you, you, you didn't have a connection yet with, uh, with the network uh, through RF, but that will happen, that will be after this. So I'm saving it. All right. Now the little trick is, let's have a look if everything is working. Which means I start APRX minus DDV and I get my connections, but nothing else happens because there's nothing received on my RF. I'm going to use the same recording. It'll be a little bit funny, but never mind. So, here we go again. I go back and I start the recording again. The recording has started, I'll put up the audio and suddenly you see stuff is moving. And I won't do it long enough, but I'll stop it right here. So you will see, because this we can we can play many times, for instance here, W6SCE.10, this station has been received. Um, it has been dropped for whatever reason, but this shows that it's working, that APRX is calculating and sending it either to APRX IS or not, depending on. Control C, by the way, by the way, gets us out of this testing of APRX. So, this little movie shows that everything is working, and I'm going to send you an email with a little bit more of data. Uh, Arthur, good luck, and if it doesn't work, don't give up, just give me a call, and we'll, we'll get it working. And I'll, I'll prepare the image and put it on WeTransfer as well tonight. Right?